Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is part of application of Laplace transforms and the sub part of circuit element modeling, circuit element models. And primarily here I uh, will be solving practice problem 16.3 and this is on the request of a student. Okay, so straight away uh, jump into the problem and I'll recommend that you watch my previous video on the subject so you can follow it. Anyway, here the switch in figure 16.11 has been in position B, this is position B, for a long time. That means it is in steady state condition in this position. Then it is moved to position A at t is equal to 0. So at t is equal to 0, this is moved here determine Vt for T greater than 0. So we have to find the value of voltage Vt. Okay, so first of all at T less than 0 when this switch is here we get this part of the circuit so we draw that separately and since the circuit is in a steady state then the capacitor will behave like a open circuit but it is fully charged with the supply voltage because uh, whatever is the voltage here the same voltage will be here and the same voltage will be here and therefore this voltage will be called V0 uh, 0 at T is equal to 0 at T less than 0 and its value will be equal to V0 so we can write that V0T is equal to capital V0 this is battery voltage and then we move uh, the switch here at t greater than 0 the switch goes up and this is the uh, circuit that we have in transient condition and we need to transform this circuit in the s domain to solve it okay so this was the circuit at t greater than 0 and uh, we know that when we transform the circuit into the Laplace, the capacitor could be transformed like this, that is the uh, capacitor along with the voltage source in series or it could be transformed like the parallel circuit 1 over C and then a parallel current source. So because this looks like the other elements are in parallel therefore I will use this but I will strongly recommend that you also practice with this and I am sure you will get the same answer. Okay, so in place of capacitor now we use this. So it is 1 over SC and this CV0. The current in uh, S domain will now become I0 over S and this will also will change CV0, V0 we know from here we had learned in the previous circuit that uh, small v0 is equal to capital V0 so we'll write it capital V0 uh, uh, current remains same the capacitor becomes 1 over SC and this voltage which is the uh, this voltage in, in S domain will become V0S and now we'll solve this so by KCL we know these two currents are entering and we can assume that these two currents leaving. So the entering that is I0S plus this current CV0 is equal to leaving Vs divided by R. So Vs divided by R plus Vs divided by 1 over SC. And from here uh, we just move change the side and take V as common from here, so 1 over R plus 1 over SC and this we uh, take up so it will be SC 1 over R plus SC taking the LCM R so it will be 1 plus SRC so we were here And now, if we take this on the other side, we leave Vs here, 
so it will be i0 s and this thing will get inverted so r divided by 1 plus src and similarly cv0 into r divided by uh, 1 plus src and from here this portion is no change but this c we take it to the right hand side rc and now we replace rc by tau we know tau is equal to rc so we replace this so i0 s n to r and 1 plus s rc is tau plus v0 tau rc is tau and here is also tau so 1 plus st and this we can uh, uh, neatly write like this now there are uh, there is just interesting point to note here is that the first term has two uh, terms in the denominator so we'll have to use a partial fraction to break this further and just uh, to get into the correct format because we know that the denominator should be of the form s plus 1 or s plus a so what we have done here that we have divided by t both numerator and denominator so divided by t this one and here also we divided by t so we get the equation like this and same here both side divided by t so i hope you can follow this rearrange it again we bring s first so s plus 1 over tau here also s plus 1 over tau and as i was mentioning that this is this has two uh, s terms in the denominator so we'll have to use partial fraction to uh, uh, solve this part okay so we were here and now the as we had already told that this has two parts two um, factors in the denominator so we need to uh, solve this first of all with the partial fraction and let's call it v1 this portion only and we'll solve that so this can be written as a over the first fraction plus b over the second fraction and by decomposition method now to s is uh, a is s v1 s where s is equal to 0 and so s multiply by this v1 s v1 s is this one this s gets cancelled so whatever we are left is this putting s is equal to 0 so the denominator will be 1 over tau and solving now we get a is equal to i square r same way we will solve for b beta is the other term the second term we will use uh, into v1 s and this equal to 0 will result in s is equal to minus 1 over tau solving putting on the value of v1 this now these two terms will get cancelled so we are left with this now we'll put the value of s is equal to 1 over min, uh, tau minus 1 over tau so putting this we get here and the final answer of b is minus i naught r so we have uh, found the two values of uh, v1s so v1s is this over uh, i naught r for a and minus i naught r for b and now we'll solve the complete equation so uh, we had separated this part uh, and uh, the value we had found here now we'll plug in uh, for this we'll plug in these two values and this will remain so vs will be these two values and this value here and now we are ready to take the inverse laplace to find the answer so taking inverse laplace this one will be uh, ut uh, i i not r into ut and there is no need of writing ut if we write that it is 40 greater than 0 so we'll write that at the answer similarly here 
minus i naught r and this one will give e raised to the power minus t over tau and similarly from here we'll get v0 e raised to the power minus t over tau. So this is our answer and uh, uh, we can rearrange, we can take uh, these two rearranging we get this answer and that is how it is given in the book. So the answer in the book is this and he has also mentioned that it is for t greater than 0 and he has also mentioned that tau is actually rc. So I hope this gives you an understanding. If you follow the steps gradually, uh, you will be able to solve any type of question uh, of this. I hope um, this gives you an understanding. Uh, please give me your comments and share this with your friends. Thank you.